All right, guys, we are in the next version of BDC. Hey, Nova, switch to Google Assistant. All right, switching to Google Assistant. Aw, oh, that really hurt, but besides that, how can I assist as your assistant? Nova, come back. Hello again, I feel dizzy, but do you want to hear a joke? Yes. Okay, let me introduce you to the comedian, Carl the Turtle. We're back again with another session of Carl the Comedian. Now the first joke is how do trees log onto the internet? They log on, of course, lol. That was pretty funny, but can you tell us another one? Of course, here is a another joke. What do computers like to eat? It's chips. Lol 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 tears of joy. I don't know where he went, but that was funny. Would you like me to tell you a story? Yes. The house on Willow Creek, they called it the Willow Creek House, a sprawling Victorian nestled deep in a dense, fog-shrouded forest. Locals whispered tales of strange occurrences there, flickering lights, unexplained noises, and the chilling sensation of being watched. The house was a fixer-upper, a project that young couple, Sarah and David, were eager to take on. They saw its potential, the charm beneath the peeling paint and overgrown vines. But as they delved deeper into the renovation, they began to uncover a history more sinister than they could have imagined. Hidden in the attic, they found a dusty journal filled with cryptic entries. The author, a woman named Eleanor, described a dark presence that had tormented her and her family. She wrote of eerie whispers, chilling drafts, and a sense of dread that permeated every room. As the couple continued their work, they experienced strange phenomena themselves. Objects would move on their own, doors would creak open, and they would hear faint, disembodied voices. Sarah began to have unsettling dreams, filled with shadowy figures and a pervasive sense of danger. One night, while working late, David heard a chilling scream coming from the basement. He rushed downstairs, flashlight in hand, to find Sarah huddled in a corner, her face pale and her eyes wide with terror. She spoke of a shadowy figure that had appeared before her, its face obscured by darkness. Fear gripped them both, but they were determined to uncover the truth. They contacted a local historian, who revealed that the house had a tragic past. A family had been murdered there years ago, and it was rumored that the spirits of the victims still haunted the premises. With the help of a paranormal investigator, they conducted a seance in the house. As the circle formed, the air grew heavy with an oppressive energy. A chilling voice, seemingly emanating from the walls, spoke in a language they couldn't understand. The investigator's face paled, and he urged them to leave immediately. Sarah and David knew they had to escape. They packed their belongings and fled the house, never to return. The Willow Creek House remained a chilling reminder of the dark secrets that can lurk within the walls of seemingly ordinary homes.